and today you're going to draw a bowling ball. And a bowling pin. We hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use a pencil first and a marker. You also need... Paper and something to go with. Yeah, all right. You ready to start? Yeah. Let's first draw a circle for our bowling ball. I'm going to draw it over here on the right side so that we have room for the pin on the left. I'm going to start here and draw a big circle. And I'm going to press hard and go over it a couple times so that our art friends can see it. So it'll show up on the camera. But you can press lightly so it's easier to erase the guidelines when we're all done. Oh, I like how big you drew it. I'm going to draw mine a little bigger too. The nice thing about using a pencil first is you can redraw the circle and then you can make it bigger. You can change it. Maybe you want to practice drawing it more round. Then when you're all done, you can use your eraser to erase any of the guidelines you don't want to keep. Now let's draw our bowling pin. First, we're going to draw a vertical line straight down. And I'm going to draw it way up here. And I'm going to draw it coming down right in line with the circle. This is the middle of our bowling pin. Nice. Down here at the bottom, let's draw a horizontal line that's maybe about that wide. Let's draw another horizontal line, maybe right about here. That's about that wide. I think maybe they're close to the same width. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's draw the top of our bowling pin. We're going to draw an upside down U. We're going to start here, and I'm going to come up, and look at this, right at the top, I'm going to touch the top of our guideline, and then we're going to come down, then we're going to come back down on the other side. So we've got this U shape, comes up, and the middle of the U shape is in line with the middle of our line. Good job, Hadley. Now we're going to draw the left side. We're going to start over here on the left of that upside down U, and we're going to come down, out further, and then come back in and connect to the bottom line. So we'll start here, come out, curve down and out, and then back in. Good job. Now we're going to repeat that same line on the right side, and we're going to go right through the bowling ball. So I'm going to try to match it so that it looks the same on both sides. And you can draw right through the circle. Awesome. That's another reason why it's nice to use the pencil first, so that we can draw right through our bowling ball. Now the pen is behind the bowling ball, so now let's go back over and erase the pencil line inside of the circle. This is so we don't get mixed up when we're going back over it with our Sharpie. Now let's erase the center line right through the middle of the pen. Now we're ready to switch to our marker. That part we sped up. So remember, if you need any extra time, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah. All right, you ready to keep going? Yeah. Let's first use our marker and trace around the circle guideline. So we'll start at the top. I think it's always easier to start at the top when drawing a circle. And we'll come around all the way over to the other side and back up to connect where we started. Good job. That looks awesome. Perfect circle. It does look like a perfect circle. You did great. OK, now let's add the finger holes where you hang on to the bowling ball. We're going to draw an oval shape right here. I'm going to draw it kind of at a diagonal. See how the oval looks like it's squished, but it's also tipped. Then I'm going to draw another kind of squished circle oval shape right here. And then I'm going to add one more right here. Maybe this one's not squished as much. It's more of a circle. Nice. Now let's draw the pin. I'm going to start up here at the top and draw the left side first. We'll trace over the guidelines. Come down. Trace out. And then back in and then stop at the bottom. Then let's draw the right side. We'll start back up here at the top, and I'm going to try to match and make it look the same on both sides. 
We'll stop at the bowling ball. And then down here, I have a little bit of the pin showing below the bowling ball. And then we can connect those two lines at the bottom. Bowling pins usually have two stripes around the neck up here. So I'm going to draw straight across on the guideline. And then we can add another one right above it. We could probably curve these to make them look more 3D. The first line I drew straight, so I'm going to draw the rest of the lines straight too. So we have one below and then one more below that one. So we have two stripes. Now let's switch back to our eraser and erase any of the guidelines you can still see underneath the marker. What else should we add? A funny face. <laughs> Let's add a funny face. Let's first draw one here. Now you could also change your funny faces and add your own. But if you want to follow me, I'm going to draw two circles for the eyes. So I'm going to draw one like this and then maybe another one like right next to it. And then inside, oh, I like those. Those are big giant ovals. <laughs> I'm going to draw another circle inside but to the left. This is going to make my bowling ball look like it's looking at the pin. And then I'm going to draw smaller. That's what I was doing. Is that what you're doing? <laughs> I'm going to draw smaller circles inside for the highlight. I like that you, you left off the highlight. And then we can color in the medium circle. There we go. That looks really cool. And what kind of mouth are you going to add? Oh, eyelashes. I don't know what mouth I'm going to add. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to draw maybe, I want them to be really happy. This bowling is so much fun. Yeah, that looks, yeah. I'm gonna add teeth. And. <laughs> that looks scary. <laughs> it does kind of look scary. No, mine does. Oh, yours, <laughs> I think yours looks funny. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna draw the bottom of the mouth coming forward and then maybe a tongue in here too. I'm gonna also color in the inside of the mouth. I'm also going to add a funny face to the bowling pin. I'm going to make it look like, oh, he's getting crashed into and he's got his eyes closed or she has her eyes closed. And then the mouth is going to be screaming since we're getting hit so hard with big teeth. I love it, Hadley. You did such a great job. Now you guys can pause the video and finish your funny faces on your drawing too. Now we're ready to color our drawings. This part we're going to fast forward again, but at the end you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. we did it we finished coloring our drawings and i love you so much i especially love the funny face looks like your pen is getting hit in the cheek yeah. we used our biannual markers to color our drawings and if you have the same set i use cg09 which is a really dark gray kind of looks black i used r807 do our art friends have to color their drawings just like us no no you guys could change the colors you could color yours pink or maybe even add swirls. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your bowling ball. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we hope you have even more fun adding a background. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye! Bye.